Hi there, April Lee, Chronically Me. I just wanna make a quick video on pacing. So um, if you have chronic illnesses, um, pacing is like something that you would put in a toolkit, so to speak, like without it, um, it is very difficult to um, not crash fully. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm just gonna explain to you like my day and how I paced. So normally as a regular functioning <laughs> normal person, I would call it, I would get up and take my kids to school, walk my dogs. Um, on a day off, I'd walk my dogs, I'd clean all the bathrooms, I'd clean all the floors, I'd do all the dishes, I would do laundry. I would, you know, me personally would sit and do like a stretch or whatever I want to do for myself. And then I would work on my appointment book for work. And then I would organize something, run some errands, um, and more. And the new me right now, until I, you know, either fully healed or recover more or whatever, um, what I did today is I got up, I took my kids to school, I had to come home and take a muscle relaxer because um, I have stenosis and arthritis in my neck and it's flaring terribly because of the job that I have. I love my job. I've been doing here for almost 24 years. Um, between fibromyalgia and the mechanical work that I do I and accidents that I've had, I have stenosis and arthritis and if any of you have that, when it flares, it's like severe and I do um, lidocaine injections back there. Voltaren gel, TENS machine, physical therapy, special stretches, um, exercises to support it, I mean everything. But then, you know, the, the job I have, it's like so much of this for so many hours, it's just a lot. And so anyway, I'm in a flare. And so what I did today is I got up, I took my kids to school, I took a muscle relaxer, I walked my dogs about a mile, I came home, um, I, threw some laundry in. I did, um, I like took dishes out of the dishwasher, put them out and then put some in. Then I sat down for like an hour and just um, did some reading, um, did anything that needed to be done like important um, that involved sitting. And then I did some stretches with my neck, um, sat with my dog and then I got up, I made a video on long COVID um, because I want to help people that have that. It's awful. Um, and then I got up and I threw the laundry in the um, dryer. <laughs> and you can see how this day is going. Um, voila, here I am. Um, I have a ring light that is holding up my phone and it is on a laundry basket. So you can see how professional I am. Anyway, this is the life of pacing. Now, this is actually, um, for the state that I'm in, this is a very good day as far as pacing because um, usually, I mean, pacing can be anywhere from like you get out of bed to brush your teeth, to go to the bathroom, and then you lay down for three hours, and then you get up and like maybe make yourself something to eat and then sleep for two hours. I mean, everything's different. It just depends on the person and the day and what they're going through. So for me, with the muscle relaxer, thank God, um, and just pushing through, I'm able to get some things done. So I've done some dishes, I've done some laundry, I've walked my dogs, I did a video, um, posted a few things. I was able to get some Bible time in. I wanna do some more of that. I get my kids from school soon. I've gotta drive my daughter to dance and then run an errand and then come home and dinner i'm probably gonna pick it up because i'm not gonna be able to cook it um i can the pain that i have is coming on and when i take the muscle relaxer uh the first couple of hours like i cannot drive on it um and then it wears off like that weird you know loss of like um i guess like it i would say i mean it's not a strong relaxer but for me i'm very sensitive so it causes um my body to like um kind of uncoordinated just a just a tiny bit not a lot uh, but the pain it does help for like a good six hours so anyway um i just want to make this video because um you know a lot of people talk about pacing and you don't always see it so for me this would be like i would consider this a very um productive day 
for being um, in as much pain that I, that I have been in and being on a muscle relaxer. Um, my instinct and the reason I'm sharing this is that when I first got up, I was in so much pain. Like I wanted to just like lay in bed um, like all day until I got my kids. Now, sometimes, you know, that might be the case and you may have to do that. And if you are doing that, like there's no judgment to you. I'm just saying that m that was my goal. Like was going to, that was what I was going to do. And I'm like, you know what, let me just get up and see what I can do. And so I, you know, walk my dogs. I'm like, I need to sit down now. I'm like, let me try some dishes. I started to hurt. I'm like, all right, let me sit down now. I'm like, what can I do when I'm sitting? Oh, I can make a video and, um, you know, try to like, you know, give some sort of encouragement. And then, um, I can read my Bible. I could, you know, maybe throw something in the dryer really quick and then take it out and fold a little bit. Like I've had laundry on my table all day and I've been folding it in sections and then later on I'll slowly put it away. Um, so I just wanna encourage you that um, if you do pacing method um, and your instinct is, and I know why your instinct would be to lay in bed is because you have like no energy and you're literally dying in pain. I totally get it. Um, right now, my pain is um, controlled with everything I'm doing and the muscle relaxer because the main pain I have right now is that flaring of the um, the actual, not the fibromyalgia, but the spasms that I have from, from the stenosis and the arthritis. Um, but I've been very careful, like I'm not doing anything that involves lifting my arms over my head. Um, I haven't worked much this week, thank God. So everything I'm doing is like kind of low. So I know if I start doing, you know, doing something above my head, I'm gonna start spasming and have a problem and be stuck in bed. So like, I need to clean my tubs. I'm not doing that. That's not happening. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna clean my sinks and my toilets because I cannot lean over and clean a tub right now. So anyway, I just want to um, let you know, if you do not know what pacing is, it's just like it sounds, P-A-C-I-N-G. Um, if you're new to this chronic stuff, um, please check that out because um, what I did when I first got sick, I went like a maniac like I used to. So I would, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so good today. And I would do a million things and I could not move by the evening or the next day. I could not move for like three to four days, like completely stuck in bed in extreme pain, no energy at all. And I'm like, what is going on? So it was like this crash burn cycle. Like I would run a marathon and crash and burn and then it would take forever to recover. So pacing method, um, once I recovered in the sense of like stopping the marathon and then crashing, um, it, I slowly, slowly learned how to put that pacing into play and it has been crucial. So for me, um, LDN, I talk about it like crazy. Please, if you do not know what it is, I'm going to put a link on this video. It's called LDN, low dose naltrexone. That medicine right there doesn't work for everyone. But for me, without it, uh, I'd be laying down doing this and probably speaking at the pace of um, slow motion. Um, that medication with that and the pacing, the, those two things right there along with my diet are what keep me... Um, from being completely um, stuck in bed. Um, and it, it takes that level of pain because the pain, I mean, my God, I tell people, you know, the wind blowing, like if my husband came up and touched me, I was dying in pain. Like people would hug me and now I know what gentle hugs means. I'm like, what in the world? Like they would hug me and I'm like, that woman is like 80 pounds and she just hugged me and I felt like she like squeezed the crap out of me and I was hurting. I'm like, what? is going on. Like, how come people hurt me when they hug me? Like, what, <laughs> are they so strong? Like, what is happening? And I didn't know that I had fibromyalgia and I was very sensitive. Um, so, and I've done everything. I've done everything you could do, um, everything from the inside out. Like, I've done it all and I'm at a baseline of um, what I consider thriving. That's why I say hope, faith, and thriving because um, I'm hopeful. I have faith in the Lord. I have faith that I'm going to get better and I'm thriving um, for someone who has many chronic illnesses. I consider my, my state of what I'm doing to be thriving because um, with all that I have, I really shouldn't be even standing up. Uh, it, it would, one of my conditions would keep someone in bed. So the LDN, um, 
it took me from bed bound to this and along with pacing and just, you know, treating flares as they come and like all the other things I do. So if you're catching this and you don't know who I am and you don't see any of my videos, please um, uh, follow me or something and go through the videos and look at the ones I did on um, what I do for my fibro because um, if you are new to this and you have no clue, I guarantee you something in there is gonna help you. And I had to find the, um, LDN on my own and I'm so glad I did. I prayed for the right thing for me and I found it and within three weeks I went from dead to alive so to speak so um, check it out please and um, you know I hope you're having a good day if you're in bed for a week. I hope that um, you know you can get out of it slowly um, by utilizing some pacing even if it's like okay, I'm gonna sit up today and then lay back down and the next day, all right, I'm gonna stand up and then I gotta sit back down and then the next day, you know, I'm gonna take four steps, you know, and then lay back down because that was the state I was in. I was in bed, I I had to, I got out of bed and I literally like, it was so humbling and humiliating to me, like crawling on the ground like a dog to the bathroom to pee and like, crawling to the shower and sitting in there and couldn't lift my hands and like what in the world like I mean it's it's very humbling I know if you have fibromyalgia chronic fatigue syndrome any of this like you you definitely it brings you to a place of humility like you've never known um you know weakness you never wanted and um I mean, I'm, I'm a strong person. I, I'm strong in my faith. I'm strong in like, I'm convictions, you know, I'm convicted, like not convicted. I have strong convictions for things. Like I have, um, so much like, um, so many hopes and dreams and, um, things that I'm very driven and to be brought to a state of like, can barely lift a spoon to your mouth. is very humbling, you know, and, as much as this has been a nightmare, it has changed me as a person. Um, I know that if you've been sick long enough with this, that you have a compassion for people and an empathy that you probably never knew existed. And um, that's why I do this. My heart goes out to you guys. Oh my goodness. It is it is a really tough life, but you know, it's doable. It's livable. Um, be, for me, it is because I seek God for like, the treatments I do pray for healing and I I really do believe that documenting all this like you guys are gonna see one day that I'm gonna be totally recovered um, and the Lord's gonna leave me there and I've come a long way and I want you to um, you know get to that place too and get better and um, even if like you know we can't say hey we're fibro free but we could like um, 